y'all welcome back to another vlog it is sunday reset baby my favorite day of the week anyway we about to get ourselves together for the week i have two errands i need to run i need to go to target and best buy but luckily i don't have to go into target because i ordered everything online and best buy i'm about to just pull up and give me a new watch you feel me because my old one gotta go and i forgot like if you're new here welcome my name is Gigi. make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram at georgiana monique and baby i tried pilates yesterday oh my god Whew, it's giving i love it like i love it i can't wait to go back like my abs are really sore like you work out core a lot and i don't really be doing a lot of core exercises when i be working out at home so pilates gonna definitely do what needs to be done but yeah, I just love the vibe in there. It's giving very much rich, very much material, girl. All of the above. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to talk to you guys later. chill for the rest of the day probably watch a movie or something cook some dinner later and i gotta wake up early because i got a workshop tomorrow from eight to i think four i ain't doing shit today today is sunday we chill on sunday i don't even know why i got up and went out of the house today like i know i don't do nothing on sundays but i had to go to target and i thought i was going to best buy but Best Buy decided to close down at the location I normally go to because the other ones just be a little ghetto for me. But yeah, so I ain't doing nothing. I'll probably talk to you guys a little later. Good morning. It is Monday morning. Oh my God, it's 7 o'clock. I just finished getting ready. I have a workshop at 8 o'clock. So I'm about to eat breakfast, put, make sure my computer is charged because I was editing last night. So that's kind of important to put my phone on a charger. And I don't know what we're doing today in this workshop because it's on Zoom. So we shall see. So I'll probably talk to you guys a little later. what's up y'all so i just got done with work my workshop or whatever um i finally got my email from the badge office they said i can come in and take my picture so i'm gonna do that tomorrow i'm mad because i literally just took out my hair like and i wanted my bob i literally got a bun in my last id picture but it's cool i'm gonna throw on some makeup slick this hair and we just gonna do it like that, you know? So, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. 
Y'all, I knocked out so many modules. Like, I literally have none. Like, I did all my modules. So, I don't have nothing to do. And then, I have a workshop tomorrow as well. So, uh, it's just getting real. Like, your girl really start on Sunday. Like, I have my first shift on Sunday. Although, like, I'm just shadowing the nurse. But I'm super excited. I'm not that nervous. I'm just excited. And I've been going over a little stuff that I kind of forgot since I've been out of nursing school. Like, I've been out of nursing school since October. So, some of that stuff, you know, kind of seeped out my brain a little bit. But it's slowly coming back. But anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm finally getting my new badge. Because, baby, I was trying to figure out, like, was I going to have my new badge before I start on Sunday? But guess what I am. So, what I'm about to do right now, I'm not really doing nothing, like... I think I'm just about to chill. Like, I already cooked dinner. Everything is already made. I went to Trader Joe's. They was missing so many of my favorite items that I normally get. Like, they didn't have my coconut water. So, I can't make smoothies this week. And I don't feel like going tomorrow. So, I'm just over it. Um, What else they didn't have? They didn't have my shrimp. Because I was going to make some shrimp tacos later in the week. They didn't have that. I'm like, traders, come on, baby. You got to get it together. Like, I don't shop nowhere else. I only shop at Trader Joe's. So, I just feel like that's, like, inconvenience. So, I'm sure they're probably going to have it later on this week. But I don't think I'm go going to the store again because I literally got a lot of stuff today. So, I think we should be good. But anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday. I'm dressed because I'm about to be on my way to take my ID picture. Yes, don't judge me. Yes, baby, I do have on a scarf so the hair can be laid, the edges can be laid. You feel me? But I'm so excited because, like I was telling y'all before, like I felt like I was incomplete without my new ID. So I'm super excited to go pick it up. Well, go take it then. <clears throat> then pick it up. I'm super excited. But anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys later. I'm about to finish getting everything together. So y'all, I'm in my car. I really can't believe I'm about to turn in my, wait, I'm about to turn in my badge. Like, clinical partner. I really can't believe it. Oh, I'm super excited. Anyway, I'm about to be on my way so I can take my new picture. And so I can say clinical nurse, RN, BSN, postpartum, you feel me? Anyway, y'all, I just put up, and I am about to put this. How I'm looking? I'm looking real cute. Let me see. I might just give y'all a rest and bitch face. Like, I don't know. <laughs> or, so I feel like my smile is too cheesy. Like, might just have to be a rest and bitch face. But anyway, I'm about to get out real quick. It's 8:48. And let's take this badge picture. I hate that I got to put on this mask. Gonna mess up my makeup. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right. I'm a bit confused because I look cute. My badge came out like whatever. It came out whatever. I guess I have to get used to it. First of all, my face look fat as fuck. Excuse my language, but hold on. Let me take it out this thing. This is my bad job. <laughs> oh, my face look fat. It's cool. Y'all see how my other one look. Whatever. You can't be choosy. Like, badges is just a hit and miss with badges, I guess. I don't know. Because I look cute right now. So, I don't know what happened. But, I'm about to be on my way home. It's time to get home, like, in 30 minutes. Because, baby, I'm confused. I'm like, because I look good. And it had a ring light and everything in there. I'm like, but it's still blurry. It came out blurry. Like, I don't know. I'm thinking I should have kept my old batch picture. I don't know, y'all, but I'm going to talk to you guys later. So, I am back home. I'm about to, I'm changing my badge reel. I got this badge reel. 
one of my cousins gave me this when I was in nursing school. And I was like, I'm going to use this once I graduate. That one's cute. So I'm about to put all my stuff on there. Look at all this that got to go in our badge. Like, we're going to have a little book on our chest, basically. Okay, so how does this go? So this go first. I'm just about to put everything in there. The Eurotonic agents for postpartum hemorrhage. Actions for an emergency. Put that this way. How to identify a stroke. All these badge buddies. And then I have these two badge buddies. This is for the flu to show that I was vaccinated. Then this was my other vaccination. So, and then put my R in. Put my R in. Register nurse. Stop playing with her. All right. So, ain't it barely one to barely one to snap on it. So this is what my badge looks like. Super cute. I, I cannot believe it, y'all. Now I feel so official. Like now I'm official, official. In my first day working as an RN on Sunday and I have my badge. I was nervous. I'm like, dang, am I going to have my badge or what? But my email came, so I'm super excited. RMBSC. Yes. Yes, baby. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys later. I'm about to eat because I did not eat. I literally just got up and drove to my job so I could take this picture and get my badge and come right back home. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little later. So I'm currently on a lunch break. Today is day four of my new grad workshop. We just went over, um, we just been doing a lot of self-paced work. And then um, a speaker came in to talk to us about night shift. I just realized that, I know I've been on night shift for a minute, but as a nurse it's different. Cause she just, I see why some of those nurses like don't be eating and that can't be me. So she was like, if you need to eat before you come into work, make sure you eat. Cause as a CNA, you have a little more time. Like as soon as you're done doing your vitals, um, you can go eat real quick. But as a nurse, you might get a new admission. It's a lot. So I need to make sure I'm on top of eating, maybe not being lazy. And literally when it, when I wake up, the first thing I do is eat, then get dressed. I'm gonna have to change my routine just a little bit. Cause baby, I need to make sure I'm well, okay. For them 12 hours. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all later because I ain't doing nothing. I'm just about to edit a video. You know how I zoos. I forgot to show you guys. I got a delivery the other day from my favorite, favorite brand. 50 Shades. And they're black on. I love it. So I'm gonna do an unboxing real quick. Came in this bomb case. So I don't know if you guys seen, I have like three other glasses from this brand. Bam. Bam. So bomb. Another pair, baby. Like, it's this red pair for me, honestly. This red pair is fire. Hey, this red pair is bomb. Yeah, she did that with these. These are so cute. Let me see if I can do this together. Yeah. yeah, these red ones is cute. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my glasses. Because I love these. And make sure you buy some. Go on Instagram. 50 Shades NYC. Okay, I'll probably tag it for you guys just in case. 
what's up y'all it is eight o'clock i feel so bad because i did not work out but i've been up like since six so anyway i just got in the shower and i'm about to review some notes one of my co-workers gave me some notes on like how to um so one of my coworkers gave me like some notes all right here so how to deal with a new admission so as you guys know that i'm going to be starting on postpartum so we get admissions from l and d so the different admissions that we can get is um a normal a normal um vaginal delivery a c-section and then we need to admit the newborn so i'm just go over a couple notes on what I do in each admission and also I just wanted to give you guys like a little chit chat like how I'm feeling like knowing that I have my first shift as a RN on Sunday like I was feeling nervous at first but now it's like GG you literally been on this floor since July working as a CNA you have the skills already. Like, I know how to swaddle a baby. I know how to burp a baby. I know how to feed a baby. I know what to do when a baby is choking. Like, when, my when like, some of the babies I used to have on my assignment, if they're yellow, then I'll let the nurse know, like, you, you know, that baby looks a little funny, you know? So, it's, like, certain stuff I, I already know and I have the knowledge. So, all I have to do now is just work on the nurse side, the nursing skills, Passing medications, charting, and then I need to work on breastfeeding because as a CNA baby, I breastfeeding is a lot. Like I don't think people really understand how breastfeeding work. Like if your nipple is flat, it just makes everything so difficult. Like breastfeeding is a lot. But um, but yeah, those are my current feelings right now. I just came to realization that I'm not as nervous as I was. I'm just like excited and I'm ready to learn. So I finished reviewing my notes. I'm just about to chill. So I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday, it's 10.35, baby. We are up and when we are up and out. We had to go to the post place. My boyfriend had beanies to mail. And then um, I need to go to the grocery store. And what else? Oh, I might go to Best Buy. I don't know. We just got to see. But anywho, um, I end up, ha I have to go to my job on Friday. I had a I knew I had a class on Friday, but I just assumed that it was like a virtual. But um, no, <laughs> it's on campus. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of excited because throughout, well, the first like week and then the workshops that we had to do for the new grad program a lot of it was dedicated to med surge so i'm excited to finally have a class that's dedicated to postpartum mother baby what to do when is a postpartum hemorrhage like what we do when a baby turn blue so i'm super excited to know like to have you know a class geared to that because everything in the the new grad program was literally for med surge. I'm like, I don't really be seeing none of this when I used to be at work. So I'm like, I'm ready to have a class based on my specialty. And I'm also excited to, you know, to mingle and hang out with the other two new grads that got hired on my unit, also our educator. She's super sweet. So I'm just excited for Friday. Um, and then I have my first shift on Sunday, like I mentioned. <laughs> 30 times on this floor i mean on this video I love you guys so much like i love you guys so much like i have posted my badge on instagram and like the love that i got the the um the dms i received like it's just it was just so crazy like you never know who you inspire or who's watching you because sometimes when people be watching you they don't always reach out you feel me so like a lot of people that i didn't even know like was hitting me up like you motivate me you inspire me like i'm like oh my god i didn't even know like you was tapping in into my channel you feel me so i'm just super excited that i can do that for you guys because if you know my story then you know like your girl been grinding for some time now to get to where i am today so 
I'm super excited and the grind isn't over. I have so much more I want to do. So I'm just so happy that you guys are a part of my journey and you guys, you know, are inspired by me because, baby, y'all who I do it for, you feel me? Like... What's up, y'all? Good morning. It is Friday. It is 6.10. I'm about to be on my way to work. I have to be there at 8 o'clock. We have a class today. I don't know what the class is going to be about, but I'm super excited because it for sure has to do with my specialty. So, the class is from 8 to 4. I did not eat breakfast because... What the fuck? Cause I really don't be hungry early in the morning. Ooh, y'all like me in my Caribbean blue, baby. Yes. Whoever made this uniform did not like. That's why I gotta give me some more pants because the front is high waisted. Them there almost go up to my chest. The back is low rise. Like it's. I'm. I'm confused. I'm confused. It's giving two type of pants right now. Like I'm very much confused. All right, let me see what I want to listen to. I think I'm going to just do with a shuffle today. Let's see. Because shuffle sometimes be showing me some love, but sometimes be playing that BS. But anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys later. So anyway, I just put up to work. It's 729. It wasn't that much traffic this morning. So, yeah, so, um, for you guys who don't know, um, I just wanted to, you know, touch bases on the new rap program. Um, my new rap program is one year, and the first two weeks is orientations, you have workshops, and then, um, the following week after the two weeks of orientation, you're on the floor, you're assigned to preceptors, I'm assigned to three, because on my floor we have a nursery nurse, and then just two floor nurses, because I guess, you know, some days they're off, whatever. And then um, throughout that year, it is different classes and workshops integrated within that one year. So I just feel the support already. And then I just love all the resources. Like, this is very helpful. Like, you know, as a student nurse finishing school and stuff, you don't be knowing all this. And sometimes I feel like my school didn't, like, highlight life after nursing school so i'm super excited that i'm in this um this new grad program because it's really helpful i haven't started on the floor yet but i could just feel like the resources and they want you to be great you feel me so i just love that and um the first two weeks as you guys seen i spent um you know being in a classroom setting, um, doing some skills, uh, meeting the other new grads, and then this Sunday, baby, is getting real. It's getting real because I got my first 12-hour shift. And um, I'm starting, they started me on day shift, but that's only because they want me to see the flow of day shift. And then after I'm done, probably with a couple shifts, then I'll be moving back to nights. Ugh. And it's funny because I don't even miss nights. Like, I'm in the middle. Like, one thing about me, like, I work my night shift. And then the next day, I can transition back to 
living my regular life. So, uh, so yeah. But yeah, baby, I love the new grad program so far. And if you can get into a new grad program, I think all hospitals like offer new grad programs, but every every new grad program starts at different time at different times. So just because you fresh out of school and you looking for a new grad program sometimes there's not one available but just like me just wait and be patient but i was not patient i'm not gonna lie i was not patient i was like very anxious like i'm ready to work let's go but i end up sitting my little ass down and just being patient because i'm at one of the best of the best okay but anyway y'all like that new watch <laughs> But anyway, um, I'm about to get out this car because I have to use the bathroom. And I just always like to be early. Although I know where I'm going, but I just always like to be early. For, I don't know. I just I just like to be early. So I'm going to talk to you guys at 4.30. This class is over at 4.30. I gotta drink some water I forgot where I parked again like when I came to work where I normally park was not available so I had to park somewhere else and I forgot I'm like what because my new parking structure where I park at now it's confusing it's very confusing but y'all today was a good day oh my god I didn't even know that I've been at my job for five years so they gave me like a little anniversary gift and it's, it's basically a badge reel with um, five years on there. I'm like, wow. It don't feel like I've been here for five years because I've been in different units. So that was just so I was saying my manager had took us to lunch, her and, our, her and my educator. We went to one of the little um, restaurants by our job, Fire. And um, my manager is really sweet and my educator is really sweet. I know um, I've been working here for a well, I've been working on this floor for like maybe like seven months, but I never really got to connect with my manager because you know, manage most managers work on day shift, so you really excuse me, you really don't see them on night shift. So it was it was really nice to sit down with her, get to know her, get to know her nursing journey, like how did she become a nurse, you know how did she become working at you know the current hospital we're working at you know what made her be a nurse manager so today was really good and i love that she let us out early because class was in at 4 30 but she let us out early it's 3 19 although it's still gonna take me 51 minutes to get home but i'm gonna get home like at four versus like at six something so I'm super excited. Today was a good day. Like, baby, I got a lot of stuff. Like, I got this binder that I'm going to have to go over. And then I told my educator, I'm like, my name isn't spelled G-I-G-I. -G -I. It's spelled Big G, Little G. She was like, oh, I thought that was for short. I'm like, no. And then, um, and then she gave us this book. We give this to the patients. It got, like, a whole bunch of information in here. She want us to go in and study this because we need to know this, like, the back of our hand. Like, I got, like, um, breastfeeding resources, how to fill out the birth certificate, everything. So, I basically got some homework to do. I'm basically, like, in school again because, again, like, this is a specialty. So, I need to make sure I know my shit, okay? So, yeah, I'm super excited. Today was a good day. I'm off tomorrow. I come back on Sunday. So, I'm just about to chill for the rest of the day. Um, I probably study a little bit on Sunday. No, no, I'm going to study a little bit on Saturday. Because Sunday is kind of like a shadow shift. She wants us to know what a postpartum nurse do. So, we're just pretty much shadowing, taking notes. 
And I don't know if you guys watch Stranger Things, but Stranger Things season four is out. So, baby, I'm trying to watch that tonight and tomorrow. I'm just so proud of myself. Like, even seeing people that known me as a CNA, they like, oh, my God. Oh, I didn't even tell you. So, when I was at lunch with my manager and our educator and the two other graduates, a nurse that I worked with when I was a CNA came up to me and was like, you're Gigi, right? I was like, yeah. She was like, you remember me? I worked with you. And I was like, oh, yeah, but she was day shift. So that kind of like threw me off because I'm like, I haven't been day shift in a long time. But she moved to day shift. So, um, so yeah. So anyway, she had told my manager like she was a good CP. She was really good. I'm like, y'all already know if I was a good CP, baby, I'm going to be a good RN. So, yeah, that just was like a little reassurance but y'all i'm gonna stop talking because i need to pay attention to the road your girl cannot multitask at all i need to pay attention because people in la can't drive so i need to pay attention what's up y'all i just got off the shower i'm feeling real good today was overall a great day i am about to end the day with some editing and I'm probably gonna, I'm about to watch Stranger Things for it. And I'm just about to chill. I'm probably gonna start studying. I probably study for like an hour tomorrow. Um, I realize I do not have my master's book. I gave my master's book away, but I do have all my ATI books. So I'll probably go over my maternal, newborn ATI book, go over the postpartum area. And then I remember Mark Clement has some good, um, good notes regarding like postpartum. So I'll probably go over that. And then I'm going to read over like the little resources she gave me. So yeah, I'm going to do that. But today I'm just about to chill. But yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday, my first shift as an RN. So, it's 6-11. Um, girl, I didn't have breakfast. I feel good. Let me see how long it's going to take for me to get to work. Because it is Sunday. Oh, see, I'm going to get to work in 24 minutes. That's good. So, yeah, so I'm super excited. Um, today is going to be like a shadow day just to see what like a nurse does on postpartum, but I kind of already know what they do because I've been working on the floor as a CNA on, on that unit, on my unit. So, <clears throat> so yeah, so I'm gonna take notes and I'm gonna just assist my preceptor, like if it's, you know, depending on what the day is like, cause it is Sunday. So I feel like this is the perfect day to, for my first day as a pre, I mean, my first day you know getting to know everything but anyway i'm about to be on my way to work i am going to talk to you guys when i get there yeah my parking lot was closed so i had to park in another in another parking lot but anyway i'm at work wish me good luck guys okay all right but anyway i'm about to get out the car let's have a good first shift and I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get off. My skin been popping though. Let me see. Let me see. Fuck, I am so greasy. Your girl is off of work. Like my first shift as a RN was amazing. My preceptor is amazing. Oh my God. God has literally blessed me. But today I just like, you know, just got my feet wet. Um, we started off with three patients. We end up discharging one, so we only had two. So um, I passed out meds today, you know, just getting a real feel of what a mother baby postpartum nurse does. But yeah, it was really laid back. Like, and I seen some of my um, 
my nurse besties from night shift because i have not seen like the night shift staff since like april 29th so i was super excited to see some of them but um but yeah today was a good day uh i learned how to chart a little bit um i didn't assess the baby like i'm gonna do more assessments the next time i'm with my preceptor today was more so you know just doing the basics med passes you know documentation how to document assessments which i feel like is not really that bad i know i was just looking i didn't really do like the charting but i feel like when you know where everything is like navigate through the um the charting system i think it will be okay and i know how to like use the mar like really well i learned how to do the pixis so i was learning how to pull medications um i returned to med it was just real cool i enjoyed my day like this was a good first day like if it was busy i think i would be like freaking overwhelmed but this was perfect but anyway y'all i'm gonna end this vlog um make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram at georgianmonique and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video